you doing guys welcome to another episode and uh, in the last segment I don't know if you noticed uh, this is a 2000 I think it's a 2001 Honda Accord uh, four cylinder and uh, if you notice uh, when you press the gas this is an automatic so when you press the gas the RPM goes like it takes a lot of time to to get some power especially you know Hondas don't have torque so I know I have one so <clears throat> Basically, what we're gonna do today, um, this customer says that this car um, uh, check engine light came on. So now you you're gonna know if you you can throw that code at you P0706. You're gonna do you're gonna know what to do. It's gonna be the um, transmission range sensor. Basically, um, very simple. The only thing you need to do is remove the tire on the passenger side in a four cylinder on a six cylinder it's gonna be on your left side we gonna do we wanna remove the we wanna jack up the car remove the tire and uh, it's got only two bolts for the cap then two more bolts for the sensor we remove that we disconnect we just follow the cable to the engine bay we disconnect the sensor we throw the new one and uh, and that's gonna be the installation very very straightforward but one thing uh, that you have to do if you buy this uh, sensor brand new, it's gonna come uh, with your car on on neutral. It's gonna come in neutral. So when you start that, you have to jack up the car, put jack stands because you're gonna leave the car in neutral. You know, use your handbrake, and then you're gonna put it uh, uh, with, while having your car in 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 the end in neutral position. On this one, I went to the junkyard. I checked the car. I make sure the car was on parking. And like that, I just gonna leave this car in parking because that's the that's how the the all new sensor is is coming on parking. But if it doesn't, I just gonna gonna move the the sh well, I'm gonna shift the car until I, I line up those two pins. I'm gonna show you in a little bit uh, what I mean about that. We have right here the old new sensor. As you can see right here, this is the sensor. So I only had 10 millimeter bolts, two in each side. Okay, uh, as you can see guys, I uh, removed the two bolts on the cover, 10 millimeters, another 10 millimeters here for the sensor, uh, there's one more 10 millimeter on top, another one in here, and right there, there is another one 10 millimeter. So we're going to remove all those, and there is inside, over there is another one 10 millimeter, right there. You see that connection right there? So right there is the connection. You just unplug that connection right there. Quick little tip guys. Um, I removed the uh, the intake, the air intake tube out of the way. So it gives me more access for the sensor. So the only thing that I need to do on this side, right here, it's got a little clip. You just push it and pull it out of, out of the lock here, because it was it was attached. It was attached right there, so I just press it and pull it out. 
so like that I'm gonna be able to turn the connection press this little um, clip right here and put the sensor out okay so uh, it was giving me a lot of trouble so you can see um, the sensor connector is located under the intake tube now we just move it out of the way and pull out the sensor completely so that's the troublemaker right there guys and uh, if you compare that one to the new one uh, new one but old one at the same time as you can tell it's pretty much the same the only thing that changed uh, is the bolts where are located but I don't think that's gonna be a trouble so let's check the connection in top see if it's the same uh, three let's see three for three connection is the same sensor is the same we just hope that this new sensor uh, works so we're gonna drive it again we're gonna see if it works so we're probably gonna notice some difference I don't know if you see that but on the last clip uh, the RPM was going up smoothly it wasn't going like little by little uh, it felt I it felt more power in it and uh, more smooth so basically that's that's the way it is guys if you want to put a new one remember to put the car in neutral uh, when you install that one because the new one it came on, on neutral and this one because it was a use it was on parking so basically uh, it's pretty straightforward uh, installation you just have to uh, jack up the car move the uh, tire and just follow the connector you remove the connector follow it and then just uh, remove the old one put the new one back on and drive it and I noticed the difference on this car so uh, obviously it's better to buy a new one because you never know with those uh, used ones but uh, in this car in this case it was it was good car seems uh, a little bit more uh, with more power a little bit more smooth so there you have it guys uh, that's how you be fix that code and uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, like the video share the video and subscribe don't forget to subscribe guys so i'll see you in the next one Peace.